dear friends welcome to the next problem of belt drive that is problem number 9 the data of the problem is like this two pulleys mounted on a two parallel shafts that are 2 meter apart are connected by a cross belt drive the diameters of the two pulleys are 500 mm and 240 mm find the length of the belt and the angle of contact between the belt and each pulley also find the power transmitted if the larger pulley rotates at 180 rpm and maximum permissible tension in the belt is 900 newton the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.28 dear friends let us prepare the diagram for the given problem the diagram of the problem is like this this is a smaller pulley having diameter small d and this is a larger pulley having diameter capital d the center distance between two is c and here it has been given a cross belt drive so the angle of lap on both pulley will be same and that will be equal to 180 degree plus 2 beta the center distance c is given is equal to 2 meter that is 2000 mm diameter of larger pulley is given 500 mm that is 0.5 meter so the radius of larger pulley will be 250 mm hence 0.25 meter diameter of smaller pulley small d is given 240 mm and it is equal to 0.24 meter so the radius of the smaller pulley small r will be 120 mm that is 0.12 meter speed of the larger pulley is given n is equal to 180 rpm and maximum tension in the belt is given 900 newton so that is t1 and coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0.28 here we have to find out the angle of lap theta power transmitted p and length of belt that is a cross belt drive length dear friends we know that length of the belt in cross belt drive is given by this relation it is lc is equal to pi into radius of bigger pulley plus radius of smaller pulley plus in bracket capital r plus small r whole square divided by center distance c plus 2 times c upon substitution of values we found it is pi into 250 plus 120 plus in bracket 250 plus 120 whole square divided by 2000 plus 2 into 2000 on calculation we found it is equal to 5230 mm and we can say the length of cross belt is equal to 5.23 meter as we have discussed as it is a cross belt drive the angle of lap will be same for both the pulleys <coughs> and the angle of lap will be given by theta equal to 180 degree plus twice beta 
where beta is given by sin inverse of capital R plus small r by c. Substituting value, it will be sin inverse of 250 plus 120 upon 2000. On calculation, we found beta is equal to 10.66 degree and hence theta is equal to 180 degree plus 2 times beta and on calculation we found theta is equal to 201.32 degree. Converting that degree in radian theta will be equal to 201.32 into pi divided by 180 and that gives theta equal to 3.51 radian. Now, power transmitted by bail drive is given by P is equal to T1 tight side tension minus T2 slack side tension into belt velocity V. And velocity, belt velocity is given by V is equal to pi into diameter of the pulley into RPM of that pulley divided by 16. Here RPM of larger pulley is given. So taking diameter of larger pulley, velocity will be equal to pi into 0.5 into 180 divided by 60. So on calculation, we found velocity V is equal to 4.71 meter per second. We also know that ratio of tensions tight side T1 upon slack side T2 is given by E raised to mu theta. Substituting the values of mu coefficient of friction 0.28 and lap of angle theta 3.51, we found T1 upon T2 is equal to 2.67. And hence, we can write T2 is equal to T1 upon 2.67. T1 is known to us that is maximum tension in the belt 900 Newton divided by 2.67. On calculation, we found T2 is equal to 337.08 Newton. Now, using relation 1, that is power is equal to T1 minus T2 into V. Substituting the values of T1 is 900 Newton. T2 is 337.08 Newton into velocity 4.71 meter per second. We found on calculation power P is equal to 2651.4 Watt. And that is equal to 2.6514 kilowatt. So we can conclude that length of the belt is 5.23 meter, angle of lap is 201.32 degree, and power transmitted by belt drive is 2.6514 kilowatt. Thank you, friends.